Here's to that horny albino yeti finally fucking off. Here we go. Mm, cheers. Um, and of course, by that, I mean Boris Johnson parting ways with Parliament. Finally. He's off. He is the Daily Mail's new star columnist. Within 24 hours of the committee's report saying that, yes, he did lie to Parliament and they recommended 90-day suspension, within 24 hours of that, he's signed and announced that he's the Daily Mail's new star columnist. Absolutely shameless. I mean, we all thought George Osborne was taking the piss, didn't we? Remember that, like when he took on like three or four jobs while he was an MP? Do you remember that? That was only like, what, four years ago? And in some ways, it's more offensive that Johnson does this immediately after having left one. You know, even though he's not an MP, it's for some reason, it's more offensive that he takes this job straight away after having left as an MP than Osborne doing it while, you know, like. Couldn't you just take a minute? <laughs> I think I think that's what we all would like to see. Like, couldn't you just have like have a little break? Like, I would have thought taking a break, having a holiday, <laughs> would have sat quite well with you, Bozzer. No, I mean here is a guy who spent most of his tenure as prime minister, you know, clocking out and flying out to some donor's second home somewhere, you know? Or pieing off the Cobra meeting so he could write a book about Shakespeare? You know? Just laziness? Or what was it? Um, it was like about three or four holidays in between, like when he agreed to step down as Prime Minister and then him actually leaving. Like, I remember the tweets from around that time. Like, people mocking his gardening leave mentality. Do you remember that? It's like, you know... Aren't you still Prime Minister? <laughs> I mean, you're still on the payroll, right? There's a cost of living crisis bubbling up out there. I don't know if you heard about it. People's gas bills are exploding. People are giving their landlords hand jobs to get a month off, you know? Because everything's so fucked. Like, shouldn't you be doing something? <laughs> and Johnson's just, like, leaning back, like, Yo, I'm, 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 you know, I'm, I am doing something. And it's like... What, what's that? What, what are you doing? Well, I'm, I'm negotiating a peerage for this 23-year-old blonde if she lets me empty my balls into her. Like, that's, oh, wow, fucking hell. Again? Another, like, PA or assistant or something you're trying to sneeze on? Don't you ever have a day off? Well, yeah, I mean, pretty much uh, pretty much every day. Well, okay, that that's actually a... That's a fair assessment, Boz. But do you remember that? Do you remember, like, all the holidays? All the accusations that he was a part-time PM? Do you remember that shit? But you'd think that somebody who was that predisposed to having a vacay, <laughs> you would think they wouldn't need asking twice, wouldn't you? Like if you said to them, Oi, Boris, mate, listen, listen, your your profile is a it's a little bit high right now and for all the wrong reasons. So we were just thinking, you know, me and the lads, me and your literary agents me and your TV guys, me, like whoever it is that gets all of his work for him on, you know, talk TV appearances or wherever the fuck else he's going to crop up now. Me, like us, and us thought, we were thinking might be best for you to just, you know, sit this one out for a couple of months. Let it blow over, you know, travel around, see some friends, reflect and all that, you know, and then come back and manufacture some quotes and make up some stories for the tabloids, you know? <laughs> then make up some tales about bendy bananas. You would think somebody like that would be like, well, you know what? Yeah, I, I actually quite like holidays. I quite like having a break. And you know what? I think I've earned a little break. You would think he would be like that. Like, this is what gets me, man. It's like, why is someone who is so infamously lazy and prone to fucking off work, you know? Why is that person so desperate to immediately jump into this Daily Mail gig? You know, it's weird, isn't it? And of course, you know, traditionally, we would say, well, you know, it's because he's financially chaotic, you know? He's probably um, 
What's the phrase he said? It's like spaffing out of the wall. He's probably spaffed his own money all up the wall on takeaways and nannies and the various myriad of uh, maintenance payments he has to adhere to. You know, that's probably his situation. That's traditionally what we would say. You know, so then once his MP's salary gets removed, gets unplugged, once he's booted off payroll, then he's like, he's immediately fucked then. Like, you know, is that it? He's just insta broke because all of his money is just tied up elsewhere. He has he's got so many financial commitments from his legitimate and illegitimate children. You know, as soon as his monthly salary (laughs) from CCHQ and Whitehall and wherever the fuck else, as soon as that is unplugged and switched off immediately, he's got two baby mamas on the WhatsApp (laughs) within an hour. Like they never talk to him. They don't want anything to do with him. They never even answer him at Christmas. <laughs> when he's like, well, maybe, uh, uh, quick Merry Christmas to you. You know, maybe uh, warm the relationship, thaw it out. Uh, send you a quick message. They don't even reply. They want nothing to do with him. But the second his MP salary disappears, or is cancelled, I bet in a, it, within the hour, they're like, well, I mean, um, this doesn't, change anything between us does it (laughs) immediately they're on the blower to him hey i heard you got fired but um i mean you're still gonna pay for your son right (laughs) well i am i am i i don't have a lot coming in right now uh anymore so so, listen we we may have to right i mean that sounds like a you problem but right I, i mean but it's just that you know, th- this is a situation that uh, affects all of us. So maybe we just don't, you know, we all band together. And uh, Boris, right, uh, yes, uh, personal responsibility and all that. Yeah, right. Uh, right. Yeah, uh, well, uh, you know, I- I'll see. I'll see what I can do. Boris, you've just bought a five million pound mansion. I- I'm sure you can find the 10 grand a month maintenance for your son here. Right. Well, I mean, it's all it's all caught up in assets, though, and, uh, and my business. Uh, uh, right. I mean, Boris, it- it- it's just that. It's just what? With all due respect, Boris. Uh, what? What? Fuck business. Bor- oh, I see. Oh, very good. Well, listen, I- I'll see what I can do. No, no, you don't see what you can do, Boris. Fuck you. Pay me. I reckon that's what it is. I reckon as soon as they read that he had lost his MP salary and his, you know, whatever else he's lost and the, he, the fact he's shamed and disgraced and... Maybe certain speaking engagements have been pulled. I don't know. As soon as they read about that, they were like, you're still going to pay for your kid, right? And immediately he's like, fuck, 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 fuck. (laughs) Desperate to jump on someone's payroll. 